Welcome back, guys. Sorry about getting you the updates a little late this month. Had a lot going on this, the past several weeks, and my monthly updates got put off for a little bit. This is now the four-month update of our 41-way ceramic coatings and sealants longevity test. We'll do our usual foaming it down with Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam. Rinse it, foam it again, wash it, and then, of course, inspect the hydrophobics before drying everything off. If you do see something you like and plan on purchasing it, please consider using the links provided in the video description as it does help the channel out. 100% of the money received goes right back into this channel for testing more products. If you'd like to further support the channel, ways to do so are on your screen here. The channel is 100% unsponsored and there is no outside influence or any sponsors to have to please for glowing reviews. I can't be bought and believe me, they've tried. As always, the last 30 days weather as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen is on your screen now. This hood sits outside of our shop 24 hours a day, seven days a week, exposed to the East Texas elements and is rotated 90 or 180 degrees after every time we do an update on it. And this test will usually continue till around the two year mark, depending on how the rest of the products are holding up. If you followed along with this test, you know I sort of regret choosing a silver hood. So as you've heard me mention in the past, I've adjusted the tint and saturation in post editing to see a little easier on your screen, but it can do some weird things to the color, otherwise just letting you know. So with that out of the way, let's get onto it, see how things are holding up. NG NT DS gel. Looking kind of weak, but it's still holding up. Seafoam fast, fast finish failed at about the seven day mark. Seacourt's Finest Reserve and Seacourt's Professional. Seacourt's Professional actually looks a little more hydrophobic than Seacourt's Finest. I think you'd, you'd agree there. Fortador Kevlar Coating by Lamborghini failed within seven days. Apex Rehydrobead was weak at the 30 day mark and I think, well, it's still kind of weak. I don't know, would you call that failed? I'm, I think I'm gonna call that failed. DPC T3, T9 still looking good. Apex Metal Oxide Coating also looking good. Extreme Solutions Poly Seal. It failed at the 30 day mark. You can see there's just a, an edge hanging on, but we left it failed. Nano Skin Ultra T1 and T3, they were both They've, they've been kind of back and forth where they look weak one month and then the next month they're looking like this where it's still hydrophobic again. Not sure exactly what's going on with those. T3 is definitely more hydrophobic than T1. You can see there. So where I had originally marked them weak, I think I'm going to take that off for now. Nano skin ceramic sealant. Definitely failed. NGNT Pro 1K and 1K Plus, looking good. Meguiar's 3-in-1 had failed at the 30-day mark. Avalon King, still looking good. Nano Age, Nano Bond as well. Trying to see if one looks more hydrophobic than the other. They look about the same. Uh, we're Rixen 10H Ceramic. It's Chinese ceramic coating from Amazon. Looking all right. Gion Can Coat Q2. Still looking extremely hydrophobic. I think overall, that one has been the most impressive for me so far, as far as the hydrophobics. Drive Auto Nano 9H, their non-graphene product, looks good, and Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, also looking fantastic. That's that's another one that I'm pretty, well, I wouldn't say surprised, but it's, uh, it's done very, very well. New Finish Ceramic Spray, also hanging in there. That'd be another one when it finally fails, be easy to re uh, reapply. It was super, super simple to apply. Underdog the Sauce Pro. Looking good. Very hydrophobic. 
in gloss at 10H. Also looking good. And gloss at 5H, which is a non-professional coating where 10H is a professional coating. Also looking good. NGNT Pro 2K and 3K also looking extremely hydrophobic. Just to recap on those, those are a product from Switzerland, not yet on the market. Griot's 3-in-1 SiO2 spray, looking good. If you follow my spray coatings test, that one has held up quite well. Would expect it to perform similarly in this test. G Technic Ultra, professional only coating, looking very good. IGL Premier, rated as a six month sealant, also looking very good. And I said, I've, I've tested IGL Premier several times. Sorry about my camera work there. Uh, I've tested IGL Premier several times and this will probably be the last time for a while that we test it just because it has been tested so many times. They haven't changed anything in their formula. So we know that it's gonna last in around a year or so. Owner's Pride, looking good. ECP Tech 580 and Speedwipe. Those three products, Owner's Pride, Tech 580, and Speedwipe, very similar products. I won't go as far as saying they're the same product, but they are manufactured by the same company, which is ECP. They are all holding up quite well. Lone Star Ceramic looks like it's doing all right. It's showing a little bit of sign as a weakness, but not nothing to be concerned with. IGL Easy Graphene looking good. Ilho 12H, that's the cheap AliExpress, like $2 coating. It has long since failed. Chemical Guys Hydro Slick and Hydro Charge both failed. And Chemical Guys Carbon Force, that's their ceramic coating. I think it's around $150 for that. It's doing all right, but you can see it's got a, showing a little bit of signs of weakness. And Ammo Reflex Pro, it has also been, for the past month or so, it's been showing signs of weakness, but it has not failed. So there is your update for four months. Any surprising results? Anything that you're rooting for? Let me know in the comments. I think for me, there's three that kind of stand out for surprising as far as like a price point compared to some of the others. And that would be Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, Gion, Q2, and New Finish. Those three. Um, as far as the others, the Nano Age Nano Bond, that's one that has always performed well, but the downside is it can be inconsistent in batches. We've had some where it lasts two years we've had others where it lasts a couple months so that's that's something to have cause for concern with that particular product make sure to check out my spreadsheet in the video description so you can see more in depth of each product and of course if you want to buy it please purchase it through the links in the description see you soon